A proportion is when you have one fraction set equal to one other fraction. So even though we have multiple terms in the numerator here, it's all being divided by 4, so it still is considered a proportion. Most students believe that in all proportions, you can just cross multiply and divide. It's a very common phrase. While it does work for some, we do have to be cautious. As in this problem, you can cross multiply, and so that would be then 4 times c, and that would be 3 times c minus 28. And that would be the cross multiply step, but the divide step doesn't make any sense for this particular problem because you still have other work you need to do before you can divide. So to finish this problem, you would first have to distribute the 3 to both parts on the right side of the equation, giving you 3c minus 84, and on the left side you just have 4c. And so you can see that the divide part doesn't make much sense in this problem because you need to solve this with your other algebra in equation solving techniques. And here we could subtract 3c on both sides, which would just give us 1c is equal to negative 84. And that would be your solution for this particular proportion. The point of this video is to reiterate that a proportion can be solved with cross multiply, but just be a little more cautious about the and divide part of that statement. So for an example where this was your proportion, then cross multiply and divide would work because there isn't another c in the equation like we had in our original problem. So that's the difference between when and divide type problems work versus and divide problems don't work. In general, we need to understand how you can multiply the denominator of one side of the fraction to the other side of the equation to help us be able to simplify and then solve.